Hello everyone. Welcome to another video about GPT-4. In this video, I'll be discussing how to use GPT-4 to create an initial prompt which can generate with journey prompts. But before we deep dive into details, let's have a look at some images generated using these prompts. I will share the prompt as a link. Check out the description and check out my other videos about mid journey. Let's have a look at the prompt first. So this is the prompt which we will be giving to chat GPT-4 to build our mid journey prompts. Okay. And other things, this is not something I have written by myself. So what I did is, and I copy pasted entire document to this chat GPT. Okay. And it was able to understand everything and create a final list for me. So if you see that it is able to understand all the details from the document, what is required to create the prompt and it has given me the list, right? I gave other parameter details and it was able to add those details and create a final list. So by doing some experiment with the chat GPT, I was able to finalize this uh, prompt. So now we will use this prompt to build our mid journey prompts. So let's go ahead. So let's get started and create our prompts. Okay. So you can see here I'm using model uh, GPT-4 and I have provided my prompt here. I'm going with sunset scene with Mount Fuji. So let's see what we get from chat GPT-4. So we have three different kind of prompts here. So if you look at this, this is a normal prompt. Second one is a oil painting prompt. Okay. And third one is a anime style. So let's take this anime style and try this. Okay. And you will see that it has, it will add Niji as well, because this is what the instruction has been given to chat GPT. Right. So let's take this and try. We will go ahead and try another one as well. Try the first one. Let's have a look at the images which we were able to generate. So here is the Niji version and here is the photorealistic version of that. So you can see that, you know, it described the image so well that we were able to generate such stunning images from this, right? Another one is this is an anime version and this is even amazing, right? So let's try some other prompts to save your and my time. I have created few more prompts, a portrait of a young girl. So it has given me three and create a scene for video games. So let me run this prompt and see what images we are getting. So we have our images. Let's have a look. So you can see here GPT-4 was smart enough to add word like Unreal Engine 4, dynamic lighting and other things. Same here, it has used word like Unity game. So these are the images I was able to generate. Let's have a look at them. So, so this is the image for the game, 3D render, another uh, using Unity. And this is with the cyberpunk style, right? And then I went ahead with the portrait, right? So this is the portrait example I've got. This is the uh, photorealistic version. This is the uh, digital illustration version. And then went, I went ahead and tried another uh, human as Android. So you can see here uh, we have got images like this. So let's have a look at the upscale version of those images. So you can see here these images are really good and well defined. You know, look at this, this one, look at this one. So this is the upscale version of that game image, Cyberpunk, that Unity. And this is the upscale version of that Armand Fuji. And this is the anime version. So you can see that, you know, with the few words, uh, we can able to create a prompt which is really powerful and can generate uh, amazing images. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next video. Thank you.